What's good everybody, it's Halfway Nuts. As you can see, we are currently at Sidonia on Mars. And I think I'm gonna start alternating between building ships and doing side quests, just to keep things interesting. The side quest I have for you today is called Red Tape Blues. So, when you first arrive at Sidonia for the first time in-game, during the uh, one of the constellation missions, I can't remember which one it was. Suffice it to say, it's early in the game. You will happen to pass by a mining manager by the name of Travis, who is usually standing right here, and you can eavesdrop on him, uh, turning away a couple of people who are looking for work because there are no available contracts. Well, once you're done eavesdropping on that conversation, you can head on over here. And we can talk to him. In fact, it gives you a quest to head on over there and speak to him. So that's what we're going to do right now. And here he is, right down here at the bottom of the stairs. Let's talk to him. You got the look of a miner about you. Maybe when the new contracts finally open up, you'll give it a go. Oh, welcome, sure. Welcome, Nice to meet you. Name's Trevor. Mining director for the Deimos Mining Project here in scenic underground Sidonia. I could spare a minute or two to chat. So long as you're not looking for mining work, I suppose. Well, aren't you full of yourself? Oh, uh, let's see here. What's with the klaxons and that detonation announcement I heard? Oh, that! Oh, nothing to worry about. We do fracking on Mars with subterranean particle detonations. Those announcements are just to let people know when to expect them. Now, you probably felt the rumble when the detonations actually go off. That's all it is. Not too bad, eh? Well, I started this game as a miner, so I probably should know what that is. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and say, yeah, no worries, that's cool if that's all it is. Yeah, no worries, mate. I can totally see how it'd be odd if you're not used to it. Just sit down, or... Be sure you're within reach of something to hold on to if the quaking makes you uneasy, and you'll be fine. So how's the mining operation going here on Mars? Eh, not so bad for one of the oldest mines in the settled systems. We struggle with the lack of decent equipment, but we work hard and make up for it. As I'm sure you know, we're responsible for supplying resources to Deimos Star Yards, which in turn is responsible for supplying UC naval vessels. That, among other major projects, makes us one of the United Colony's most important mining operations. The prestige and pay that comes with it almost makes up for being stationed at the arse end of the settled systems in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> yeah, okay then. So you must be the boss around here. Yep, that's me. Joined up with Deimos when I was just 17 as a mining gopher. Go for this, go for that, you know how it is. I worked hard, proved myself capable, and got the promotion to mining director about six years ago, after the old boss retired. Some of the older guys resent me, but I give everyone a lot of leeway as long as they meet their quotas, so that keeps them happy enough. I already know about this. This leads to a side quest, so... You know, I used to do mining work for Argos. I was hoping you'd have some work, but by the sounds of it, it sounds like you don't. Argos, huh? Yeah, I've heard of them. That's great, but yeah, unfortunately all our mining contracts are filled right now. Unless... Maybe you could help me out with a job. Off the books. Uh-huh. I should have known where this was going. I am an extrovert. Uh, oh yeah, no worries. Sure, I'd love to help. Anything to help your team, dude. <laughs> I love the enthusiasm. Now do yourself a favor and get to know some of the miners. It'll remind you what you're doing this for. Uh, anyway, I'm getting off track. See, you might have noticed that our equipment ain't exactly holding together like it used to. Problem is, we can't get new equipment unless we start exceeding our quotas. And we can't do that until we get new equipment. A real dilemma, right? I've got a plan for solving our little problem, though. Yeah, that little problem does sound like a brain bleed waiting to happen. Uh... Yeah, sure. Tell me what's the plan. 
Okay, glad you're still on board. First, I need someone from the outside to bolster our yields so we can prove that we can exceed our quota. I'll fill you in on the rest of the details after you've hauled up some more. One standard quota should do. I need to know I can trust you with the easy stuff first. Whoa, 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 wait a minute. Why not just hire more miners? Yeah, don't you think I want to? Corporate sets the contracts and they're not giving out anymore, so we work with what we've got. Something to do with insurance, benefits, and uh, other liabilities, so I don't make the rules. Wait, what do I look like to you? Free labor? Of course not. I'll pay you out of my own pocket. I care about my miners, even if corporate doesn't understand our struggles down here. I'm willing to put in some sacrifices to help. That's just the kind of guy I am. If I had the credits to buy all the equipment myself, I would. But this is the next best thing. <laughs> uh, yeah, you know what? This sounds easy. I'll do it. When you've got enough, drop it off in the bin over there for processing. Then come see me. Okay, I guess it's time to start mining. You whip out Heller's cutter. Would like to remind all if there were any doubt of Sidonia's importance to the United Colonies and its industry, this certainly puts it to rest. So it turns out this quest is bugged at the moment. Uh, normally you should see uh, iron spawning all around here. In fact, there'd be uh, quest markers all over the place so you can get your 10 iron. Uh, but I checked Reddit, and it turns out this is pretty common, that the, uh, the iron just won't spawn. That's okay, I came prepared. Andresia! Hello. Did you need me to carry something for you? Yes, let's trade. Give me this iron, right now. Right. Okay, I'm done. Put it over here in the bin. Boom. Done skis. Damn, I'm good! Alright, let's go talk to this guy Trevor again. Okay. Like that all you mind is really gonna bolster our numbers. I dropped off that ore as you requested, sir. Great. Now, the next part is a little trickier. Our Director of Mining Operations, Peter Brennan, fired his last assistant over a month ago. Peter's the only one who can approve the order for new equipment, and unfortunately, he's useless without an assistant. I think I've got a surefire way for you to get that job. Then you, as his assistant, can get him to sign off on the approval. Huh? Wait, wouldn't it be easier just to ask him to approve it? You don't think I've tried? Like I said, the guy is literally useless without his assistant. I don't even know if he knows how to actually use a computer. And everything Deimos does is so mired in bureaucracy because of their contracts with the UC. Which means, unfortunately, we need to do all the things by the book if we want them done at all. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Let me make sure I understand this. You want me to become his assistant? We just need you to take the job until we get the approval signed. Then you can quit, keep it, or do whatever. It's not as bad as it sounds. Worst case scenario, you may have to go fetch some stuff for him and go over his messages. It'll be easy, I promise. <laughs> Fine, sure, I'll take the job. Now hold on, it's not that easy. You'll need to apply for it like anyone else. Head to the Demo Star Yards office up in orbit to fill out the application. It's where that job is posted. Come back and see me when you've done that, and we'll talk about how to secure the position for you. I can't believe I have to go get a job. I could be sitting on my ass at home playing video games all day, but oh no, I gotta get a damn job. Uh, Alright, well, I suppose we have to go to Deimos to apply for this job. Oh 
Oh shit, I'm not wearing a space suit. <laughs> Almost forgot. There. That's better. To the ship. To the frontier. That I spent a hundred grand souping up. I'm loving every minute of it. I always hate it when they look left like that. Hopefully Bethesda can fix that. Alright, straight into the cockpit. Always a satisfying moment to return to your ship. Of course, Andresia. Ship's ready. Okay, let's find the Deimos Star Yard. Right hither. the damn thing. Almost. Almost hit it. Ship is down docked. Perfect. Didn't even smudge. Oh my god, Bethesda has got to do something about all these damn loading screens. Uh, I wish Deimos was exclusive. Deimos and the UC are inexorably tied together. If one fails, the other does. I might not mind seeing that. I'm sure you wouldn't. Okay, time to get a job. Job postings. Executive assistant. Seeking a highly motivated individual to assist the executive in charge of mining operations and day-to-day -day responsibilities. Prior executive assistance experience preferred, but not necessary. Must be willing to relocate to Sidonia. Internship is unpaid, with option for a permanent role at the end of the contract. Sounds legit to me. How many years of experience do you have as an executive, administrative, or other corporate assistant? Uh, zero. What is the highest level of education you have completed? Secondary school. You will now be asked a series of questions to help us assess your competence for this role. Please answer honestly and to the best of your ability. The executive wants you to bring them a whiskey neat. What does that mean? That's about 43 millimeter shot of whiskey served in a glass at room temperature. A VIP arrives at the office for a meeting with the executive who is inexplicably running late. What should you do? Uh, I'm going to reschedule the client's meeting with the exec for another time. A malfunction prevents the executive starship from starting up and they need to go to an important off-world meeting soon. What course of action do you take? Uh, I'm going to contact the client and cancel the meeting. Reschedule for another day. While handling the executive's email, you come across a message from someone who is claiming to have damaging information about the executive. What should you do? And I'm going to ignore that. I'm just going to block the sender. The executive contacts you and asks you to see them in their office in the middle of the night. You can tell they are drunk. What do you do? I'm going to ignore them and go back to sleep. He probably won't remember anyway. 
please be aware that all answers are final and will be reviewed when considering your application. If you would like to change an answer now, select the option to start over. Otherwise, proceed to submit application. I am going to submit the application. Thank you for your interest in Deimos and for submitting your application. We will review your skills and experience and let you know if we feel you are a good match for the position. We appreciate you choosing Deimos. Thanks a lot. Are responsible for countless victories. Okay, now I have to go back to Sidonia. And we're back. Let's see what he has for us coming up next. I really don't want to know why I'd take the stairs if I got my boost pack. Actually, come to think of it, I'm inside now and wearing your helmet is awkward. It's like getting off your motorcycle and walking into the grocery store with your helmet still on. Weirdos. Okay. Don't worry. We're going to make sure you get that job. I sure hope so. Trust me. This is the best shot we've got at getting that request approved. I filled out that executive assistant application. Okay, now we need to ensure you get hired. Basically, we'll need to make sure you're the only choice. To do that, you'll need to get access to the HR terminal in the corporate office upstairs on the main level. If you delete the other applications from the system, you'll be a shoe in Isn't HR going to think it's odd that all the applications were deleted? Believe me, if you knew Tia, you wouldn't worry. I'll be honest, she's so overworked and behind in her tasks that I don't even think she knows there are any applications. That's a good point, though. Once your application is in, I'll ping her and ask her to take a look to see if any applications came in for me. That should get her to finally take a look. See yours, and if all goes well, she'll hire you on the spot. And how do I gain access to this HR computer? I happen to know that the HR director, Tia, and the other women in the office tend to go to the Broken Spear for happy hour at five every evening. That's your window of opportunity. I see. Yeah, sounds easy. I'll do That's it. That's the spirit? Believe me, this is going to help everyone. By the way, the HR password is password spelled backwards, which Tia thinks is pretty clever. She gets talkative during happy hour and loud. I'm surprised everyone doesn't know her password, honestly. Anyway, should be pretty easy. Good luck. Yeah, that is a pretty pathetic password. Oh, this is getting tedious. Why can't I just shoot somebody and get it over with? A little wet work always makes things easier. Uh, okay, let's just run up there and see what we got. This life ain't easy. It pays the bills. I wonder if I can do this in plain sight. One of the earliest shipbuilders and desperate to remain relevant. Quick save. I don't even have I stealth. Had a day off in three years, and I... You know what? I've been putting this off for a long time. Screw it. Wrote the damn time off policy. Huh. Wow. Okay. Let's check her messages, just for shits and giggles. 
I know this isn't the right place to bring this up, but I can't seem to get a response from Peter. Our tools are falling apart and we really need new ones. Can you ping him maybe? Throw a wad of paper at him to get his attention? Something. He's an executive for crying out loud. I know he's someone's rich son, but this is getting ridiculous. Trevor. Was I calling him Travis up until now? Yeah. anyway. I'm terrible with names. Due to new regulations in the United Colonies market, all new ships from January 1st, 2331 onward require coolant pumps grade E or above. We should be compliant as of this year, but please triple check all coolant pump purchases and installations so we can continue to bring our products to all citizens in the settled systems. Where to find good whiskey? I know exactly where to find good whiskey. He's at it again. Peter seems to think the messaging program is some sort of search function again. At least he's using the computer, I guess. Gilly. Interesting. Okay. Job applications. Did I just get a bounty? We'll see in a minute. Let's see here. Delete this. Delete this. Delete this. Delete all other candidate applications. Yes. You're making things harder Only for yourself. Only employees of Deimos Staryard's mining division are authorized to mine resources in and around Sidonia. You see security. You're under arrest. Turns out that's not the smartest idea. Better to just wait until everybody leaves. <laughs> okay, let's get in there. See what we got here. Delete all applications. Are you sure you wish to delete all other candidate applications? This action cannot be undone. Fucking send it. Awesome. Okay, back to Travis, or Trevor, whatever the hell his name is. Whenever I hear Trevor, I think of Trevor Phillips from GTA 5. That motherfucker was crazy. when you work harder than anyone else. Okay, then. Don't worry. We're gonna make sure you get that job. What's up, dude? Trust me. This is the best shot we've got at getting that request approved. And I did it, and I made sure I was the only applicant. And I can say that I've got some good news for you. I just saw the company message go out that you've been hired as Peter's assistant. <laughs> Congratulations. And you don't feel like this leaves a nasty taste in your mouth? What about the other applicants? Not really, and neither should you. Either those applications were old and those people have moved on, or as soon as you disappear after this, they'll get to hiring again. Oh yeah, and what happens if they figure it out? They won't. I'll tell you a little secret. No one really cares too much. I'm not saying anyone's bad at their job, just that everyone's too busy and overworked to care. Seriously, no worries, mate. I've been here long enough to know how they operate up there. Okay, what's the next step of this plan of yours? Next step should be easy. Just go to work for Peter, and when you get access to his terminal messages, you'll see my request. All you've got to do is approve that request, and we'll be right on with it. Then, we can get that new equipment, and show corporate how it's done. And that's it. That is Red Tape Blues in a nutshell. The follow-up quest is Red Tape Runaround. Oh, that's a tongue twister. A little bit. 
Red tape runaround. Try try saying that three times fast. Red tape runaround. Red tape runaround. Anyway, we are going to do that quest in our next side quest video, which will probably be next week. Until then, questions, comments, put them in the comment section of the video. Otherwise, until next time, this is Halfway Nuts telling you, don't go nuts. That's my job. I'll catch you later.